Coming up, we've got something you can sink your teeth into. And something that'll sink its teeth into you. When America's Funniest Home Videos, Nincom Pooparama returns. Welcome back to Nincom Pooparama. Humans are not the only Nincom Poops. Animals can be Nincom Poops too. And, and the nice thing is, when you put them both together, that's really Nincom Poopapatability. Check it out. <laughs> you know, you can lead a horse to water, but it's not always a good idea. People, it's a Palomino, not a seahorse. Box of rodent, not always the best gift, but it is so much better than bag of hamster. You're home, you're home, you're home, you're home. I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold. You could have left the door open. I'm an indoor dog. This isn't my winter coat. Come on, come on, let's go in, let's go in. Come on, what's the problem? Yeah, so I can see it. Snakes make great pets, but you might want to keep them in a terrarium. Going on my pants. <laughs> this is the only time in his life Billy could say trouser snake without getting slapped. Normally, they only eat mice. <laughs> now that is a whole lot of bull. And what was that about black cats? He likes the camera, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> have a question. Just by a show of hands, do any of you have friends, and we can use that term loosely, who think they know everything? Really? Are any of you sitting next to that person right now, by any chance? Over here, well, well, we'll deal with that later. You know the type I'm talking about, the Mr. Big Shot show off fancy pants know-it-all. Don't you love to see the things they can't do? Check it out. You know, sir, the slide really is a young man's game. This is why they have merry-go-rounds in nursery schools instead of nursing homes. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry I made you go really fast. Oh my God. Watch closely. You're about to see the very worst way to turn on a sprinkler. Big smile, big smile. <laughs> oh, too big, too big. <laughs> Joe was laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> uh, doctor, I have this burning sensation. I, uh, I find after that last clip, I just instinctively cross my legs. I don't know about the other guys here. How many times, uh, Hope, have you or your girlfriend said there, there just aren't any really good single guys out there? Does that come up a lot? Yeah. yeah it does, huh? Yeah. I heard it a lot when I was single myself. <laughs> but I, I still hear it. And uh, we at AFE want to help you meet that special someone. So ladies, here are some single men who are amazingly still available. 
Skyler loves long walks on the beach and keeping in shape. He's not afraid to show his tender side. He's looking for a girl between the ages of 35 and 36 for a long-term relationship or one-night stand. Bryce likes fine dining and old radio ditties. He's a yellow belt in Taekwondo and he makes his own mayonnaise. No dogs, please. Looks aren't important to Armando. It's what's inside that counts. He dates two to three times a week. Always the gentleman he never kisses on the first date or dates the same girl twice. Montgomery hopes to strike it rich with Manhattan's first cow wash business. He prefers the first Darren from Bewitch. He also loves yachting and full-figured girls. Tyler knows he has a tendency to toot his own horn, but he's the best at what he does, whatever that is. Non-smoker a must. And you can stop kissing frogs, girls, because we've found your Prince Charming. Larry loves to discuss everything from Shakespeare to Nietzsche, but his favorite story is about the time he fell asleep in butter.